Hello fans, Ben Knight for Farmer State Bank. Friday night football and Farmer State Bank. As easy as FSB. Dedication, hustle, trust, commitment, and teamwork. Giving our all every day, just as our local football teams do every Friday night. Join us at Farmer State Bank and support your local team. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Shamrock Bowl, Dublin Swainsboro for the region championship and a number one seed. Next week's high school playoffs tonight. We're about to have the coin toss with the captains at midfield. Jackson Locks with me tonight. Jackson, you got those captains for Yes, us? sir, Mr. Crather, I'll get them for you. So we got the whole senior class out there for the Dublin Irish tonight as captains. Number four, Christian Harvey. Jaquarius Evans, number seven, 19, Trey Baldwin, number 30, Antonio Benjamin, 41. Isaiah Landers, 51. Ramonte Doherty. Ramonte Doherty, 52. I appreciate that, Mr. Scruthers. 52. Middle League Madison, 60. Desmond Gilbert, and 63. John Calvin up there Great on job. that old line. And D line, I imagine. Yep. Swainsboro only a few miles down the road having a big year. They're undefeated. They brought a great crowd tonight. So no this doubt. place should be. Le electric. That's right. Shamrock Bowl packed out tonight for the region championship. Don't get much bigger than this right. tonight. Here's what it comes Swainsboro down to. wins the toss. I believe they deferred. So Dublin, I believe, will get the ball first. They're about to come out of that senior night theme yep. banner. Seniors out front. Here they come. Here come the Fighting Irish. Coming for that region crown. Going to be swings, bro. Be on the them Tigers, <laughs> one of the oldest rivalries in yeah. Middle Georgia. Yeah. First meeting 103 years ago, 1919. I didn't know that. There's been seven, 72 matchups, doubling 44 wins out of those 72. Looking at a great rivalry oh, yeah. for many years. We played them my junior and senior years, lost to them both times. 78 and 79, that was, that wasn't 1878 and 79, <laughs> it just seemed like it a long time ago. That, they, my, my junior year, they, they made the state semifinals, lost on penetration to the eventual yeah. state champions, Westminster. They had a heck of a team. Most every year since then, they've been good, and it's been a great rivalry through the years. Sometimes a region game, sometimes right. non region, but it doesn't matter. It's always, yeah. oh, always yeah. very competitive. Very intense. And this, the Irish will be kicking off. Actually, Delta Swainsboro chose to take the ball. So they will go on offense first. When you have a rivalry this old, this story, you're going to have some great games throughout that history. But tonight, it's a huge one, the region champions. Absolutely. And if I got any WWE fans, I know you recognize the Roman Reigns theme song. What better way to get ready for this region title? Got Connor Daniel to kick off for Dublin. Bands fired up. Swainsboro's crowd fired up. Yep. Waiting on that About kick. To get it underway. Both bands going full blow, full bore. Connor's kick is off to the right. Comes down at about the 15. Turn man angles off to his right. Up across, up near the 30, I should say, maybe the 28 or so. Pretty good coverage by Dublin's kick, kickoff team. Ball will be placed at Swainsboro's 28. They'll be first and 10 from there. Mr. Crather, we're going to see football tonight. And football the way I like it. Some hard nosed running football from both of these teams. Swainsboro, Swainsboro, 19 passes on the year. I don't expect them to try to top that too much tonight. They did come out with yeah. trips left and one man wide right. So We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Catch them off guard Under early. shotgun. Quarterback keeper comes off to his left, breaks the tackle, gets a few yards. They'll have about seven up to the 35. The Elman man had a chance to get him in the backfield. I believe that might have been Xavier Boston. Missed the tackle and they got up to the 35, so it'll be second, let's call it four. 
Swainsboro, a well-oiled machine offensively, averaging 38 points a game. And they're blowing people out, so you got to think they're laying the yeah. dogs off oh, a lot. They did in the have what half. I don't doubt was their closest game of oh, the year yeah. last You're week right. against Blackley, won by only seven. Another running play will have the first down across the 40. And you said it beat Blakely by only a score. Yeah, I think it's 28 21. If that sounds first right. Yeah. So first and 10, Swainsboro for their 42. Now with 11 12 to go in the first quarter. We're just underway here at the Shamrock Bowl on senior night. We need those seniors to step up. Trips right this time. One man kind of in the slot left. Quarterback on a keeper all the way, off to his right, looking for a hole, cuts it upfield. Got some good blocking. He's going to have about eight yards. Ball's going to be placed, looks like, right at midfield. So a nice game for Swainsboro. You know, let's call it second and two. The ball will be exactly at the 50. So far, Jackson, Swainsboro, that one strung them out a little bit, it looks like, but they're, they're running backs and quarterback had found holes, found cutback yeah. lanes. You know, real simple play calling, you know, quarterback yeah. power out there, just great blocking out front from his guys. Twins right and left this time, but clearly, you know, until we see them throw it, they're going to run it. That's right. Uh, hand off to right. the fullback, well played. There we go. Right there, yeah, I believe that's uh, John Calvin, defensive lineman, kind of led the charge right there. Had a couple of friends with him. They did get the first down. Ball will be actually at Dublin's 48, but that was well played by Calvin. Yeah, get the first down there, but I think stopping them short there could bring a little momentum to this defense yeah. early. Yeah, Dublin's giving up a few yards, their first few carries, trying to adjust to that offense. Again, twins right and left. All right, we'll take a quick break and be right back. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Amata equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amata, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amata dealer. Amata lasts and lasts and lasts. My name is uh, Phil Patel. I am one of the part owners here and the general manager here at the Hampton Inn and Suites. First time when I got introduced to Morris Bank, the people were so friendly and helpful. You feel like that you are appreciated there. At Morris Bank, everybody down at the bank is so friendly, and not just to myself, they're just friendly to everybody. They want us to succeed because our success is their success at the same time. That makes a lot of difference, and they're always there for us. Out of the shotgun, hands off to his running back. A good hold, nice tackle by somebody down around the ankles. But Dublin to keep it from being a bigger gainer. I believe that was not Ramonte Darty. That's right. He'll get a, at least six yards. Though. Saved a big gain right there. Yeah. Good play by Darty though. He had a good head of steam up. That was number 11 there, running back Quindarius Brown. He's a sophomore. Oh, good looking running back. Yeah. Up this stop. time they got twins left and then a man in tight slot on the right. Empty backfield. Now he comes in motion. Quarterback hands it to him on the keeper. Not much there. Well played by the right side of Dublin's defensive front. I believe I saw Xavier Bostic in there and he had a lot of help. I also saw uh, Ke Kelwan Gilmore. All right, it'll bring up third and about four for Swainsboro from Dublin's 42. Big third down, really Big the first play. one yep. we've seen here, and it's huge. Yeah, it's we got huge. 845 to go in a fast-moving first quarter. This would be huge right here on this third down play. Yep. You know, like you say, it's right. going to be a fast-moving game. We're running the football both sides of it. Now they've got trips right, one man left, empty backfield. Move that man. Quarterback keeper all the way. And he gets a little bit of a crease, gets down the sideline, nearly broke it. Somebody made a nice tackle over there to keep him from going down the sideline, probably for a touchdown. That was, uh, I believe that was uh, Malachi O'Neill made what might have been a touchdown yeah, saving that's what tackle. I was just about yeah. to say right there, Mr. Prather. Yeah. I believe he would have tiptoed down that yeah. sideline and been going, so a great tackle right there, yeah. saving As him. it is, it's a first down yeah. for Swainsburg at Dublin, 27. Now with 8-10 to go in the first quarter. Yeah, and talking about that last play, Coach Holmes said in this coaching show this past week, 
their backfield always has the ability for a house call in right. any position of the football yeah. field, so you have to right. contain well that. Well played right there. Lamonte Doherty whipped a block there in front is. of the play. Through the ball carrier for about a two-yard loss. Tremendous play by Doherty. Puts Swainsboro behind the chains for the first time all night. There we go, that's huge. Yeah. Let's call it second and 12 from the 29. Maybe a short 12. So let's say you get the stop right here on second down. You put them in a in a passing spot, and you're not saying yeah. they will, but it puts them in a tough spot on this third well, down. Given where they are on the field, they're probably in four down territory. That's right. But I oh, get yeah. your point. Yeah. Well, well, good point. Quarterback fakes it, goes off to his right. Oh, well played right there. there. For that Trey Bowen. That's a great play by him coming up, making a good open field tackle to limit that game to about three. Bring up third and nine. So, yeah, like you say, it is for, it, because you're in a weird spot of the field here, especially in high school. They definitely don't have a kicker that can leg this thing. Seriously doubt it. So, most likely, this is two down territory. Yeah. But still, you put them in a spot here, third right. and nine. You've got two plays here to pick up nine yeah. yards. They'll keep it on the ground. I, I would if I'm a big man. Play here. Yeah, they got trips left, one man right. Quarterback running all the way to his left. We slowed him down at first, but then, oh, here comes a flag. Let's watch a flag, possible illegal block. You got two flags, one yeah. in the backfield and yeah. one that flew in yeah. there. Yeah, you're right, one in behind the secondary. play. And then a, one of the line judges well down the field threw a flag in from the deep into Dublin secondary, so let's check this penalty. This is critical right now. He didn't get a whole lot. He only got down near the 25. That's on Dublin. Maybe a face mask, I'm assuming. I get, yeah, but they both on Dublin, or are they, is it the same I'm call? Not sure, yeah. Let's see if Must we can get only one call. Hold, Hold. No, holding on Swainsboro. So it's offsetting, okay. Offset. So that's big. It brings two up. Holding call, two holding oh, calls. Two holding calls. Oh, wow. Swainsboro. They accepted one, so. They mistakenly yeah. moved the ball forward. Yeah. So that's yeah. huge. Yeah, that'll take them well back around Ten the yards 40. Right there. Yeah. All the way out to the Dublin 40. They'll be third and. And the Tiger. Third and. Third and 10. 23. 23. Do a little math up here. Now, this might be different here if they yeah. don't get this. They might have to punt. You're right. Not give away field position. And only passing the ball 19 times this year, 11 right. times in the last three games. I, I, I'm, I'm very interested on this play call. Yeah. Twins right and left. So quarterback keeper again, Ramonte Doherty knifing in from the right side of Dublin's defense. The holding to about a three yard gain. Great play by Doherty. Swainburn's got a man down. Looks like one of their linemen is down. Favoring a leg. We'll take a break for the injury timeout and be right back. Hi, I'm Tom Domney, Dublin Wind Nelson Company. We're a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. We are committed to building long term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry. We're able to answer your questions and are ready to help you get the parts and equipment you need. At Dublin Wind Nelson, our goal is long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right one customer at a time. Our showroom is complete with the latest styles and fixtures. Stop by and see us at 507 Airport Road or give us a call at 478-272-3585 That's Dublin Wind Nelson. All right, we're back. Now it'll be fourth and 20 for Swainsboro from Dublin's 37-yard line after the holding call. So not a punt here unless he drops back and kick it. Looks like a different quarterback. Maybe they're passing quarterback. Yeah. Exactly what it is. Lefty. Take a deep shot. Takes a deep shot. He's oh, got he's it. Caught. He'll go in for a touchdown. And he's in for a score. Wow. Yep. Number one for Swainsboro, Danella Jones. It looked like Dublin had a beat on that ball, and we went up for it, just missed it. Receiver catches it, evades the tackle, and into the end zone. Wow. For the first score tonight, Swainsboro goes up 6 0. Wow. Okay. Now you know. That's yeah. been set. If he's in the yeah. football game, that yeah. pass is coming. Yeah. 
the 20th I'm, pass yeah, of the I'm year. I'm sure they, they said yeah, that. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, no doubt they knew yeah, that before. And we were in position to make that play, and we just didn't make it. We just, he, he out jumped us. Wow. So fourth and 20, Swainsboro yeah. takes a shot. Kick is up and close but good. So 5.44 to go in the first quarter. Your score, Swainsboro seven, Dublin nothing. It's that time of year when we come together to support our team. And our team here at Dublin Chevy Buick GMC is here to support you. Let's take a test drive. Go, just get on there. Whether it's helping you with your next purchase or just servicing your current vehicle. Good afternoon, Mr. Smith. We've got your Chevrolet ready and enjoy your vacation. North and south! There's a nip in the air and the games have been played and we're in mid-season form here at Dublin Chevrolet Buick GMC. North, south, east, or west, Friendly Gus is on your way today. Fuel up with Friendly Gus's delicious breakfast, made fresh every day. Your wallet and your belly will thank you. Friendly Gus has everything you need for football season. Choose from our 20, 40, and 60-piece chicken finger and wing platters. And don't forget the tater logs. Friendly Gus is your one-stop shop for tailgating parties. Our food is always fresh and our service is always friendly. Friendly Gus, on your way today. Also shop Cochran Brothers Cash and Carry at 320 South Jefferson in Dublin for additional tailgate items like paper products, chicken wings, bulk drinks, spices, sauces, and more. All right, Swains were about to kick off having gone down and scored on their first drive. On a Touchdown pass on one, fourth and 23. Back deep, I believe we got Cam Hampton, and I can't see who's on our side. I think Jaquarius Evans. Hoops like kick it. straight up in the air. Fair caught by Dublin, actually fumbled out of, bounds. out of bounds. However, Jackson, the great news on that is Dublin have That's great right. field position outside their 45. That's right. Got some field Those kind work. of kicks are great when they work and you steal a possession, That's but right. if you don't, you give the other team great field position. You know, and that's that's the chance you take on those kind right. of plays. Exactly. All right, so we, we've seen yeah. the Irish defense, and I, I'd like to call that last, you know, not really a stand there, but you're holding a fourth and 23. I'd like to yeah. call that. You know, we've seen we can stop them, but you give up that long right. pass there. Right. So now we'll have the offense here. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to say Swainsboro, a very good defensive team. So the Irish, will, of course, their bread and butter is running the ball. You know that. Right. So. Oh, yeah. Triple option style. So yeah, you talk about that Swainsboro defense. They've given up 40 points all season. 21 of those coming last week. So outside of last week, 19 points given up. So that's nine games, that's less than five points a game. Yeah, and they're 38 on the offense. So that's a pretty big margin. What the Irish got to work against tonight. Might have got a oh, false start. Yeah, I think we got a false start. Fullback jump. Oh, give us an offside there. Okay, offsides on Swainsboro, so Dublin gets a cheap five yards. Now what do I know? First offensive possession of the night. Yep. That'll actually take, take the ball into Swainsboro territory at their 49. Their crowd doesn't like to yeah. call it all, but guess what? They don't get a vote. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And I, I'm, you know, I'm loving that call. I'm also loving the energy from both crowds tonight. I mean, yeah. he's got that championship feel, and it's yeah, a region title does. game. Got another whistle. Yeah, now what have we got? Maybe a sideline warning? Let's check this. Might be a false start. Might be. Let's see. Sideline yep. warning okay. on swing drop. All right. A free first down, if I'm not mistaken. No, no the first one's not a penalty, right? I think it's only oh, a Oh, it's just a warning. Right. Excuse me. Warning. Excuse me. They threw the flag on, right, but the second one that would warning. be a penalty. Nearly gave us a free first down. Still right doubling there. first and five right here. Against the number two in the state, Swainsboro Tigers. Uphill battle tonight. Undefeated, Swainsboro is. Both undefeated in the region, so this is for that region title. And our and the Dublin's just getting better and better every week. Yeah. Oh, we got a man jump. Now we gave the five back. Ooh. Man. So 
that one will be right back where they started after the false start on offensive line. And it's just got that classic rivalry feeling. Kind of, I don't know, it feels like Georgia, Florida or something in yeah. there to me. Well, we got Kamari McCray running in, a sophomore offensive lineman. Speaking of a sophomore, you got Jarvis Wiggins broke his leg last week. That's yeah. He got his first start last Bad week, a big injury. missing piece. Yeah, I hate that for him. Hopefully he's starting his recovery yeah. okay so far. Got to work with Adam tonight. All right, so doubling first and 10 after all that. Yeah. Inside handoff, no blocking whatsoever, although he good job to push forward for about two yards. I couldn't tell who that ball carrier was. was it? I don't think it was Hampton. Honestly, not sure who the ball carrier was, but he did well to get maybe two yards out of it. Yeah. Let's call it second and a long and a short nine. Already about to go under five minutes to go in the first yeah. quarter. Fast These teams moving. running the ball as right. much as they are, this game should go pretty quickly. Fast moving football here. And off to Hampton, off to his left, makes a nice cut, gets down to the, gets to midfield. He'll be, well, bring up third and about five. Actually, he got a little across midfield. Let's call it third and five from Swainsboro's 49. So, I mean, third and five, this is, you can gain this. Yeah, you like to have it doable. third and four, third yeah, and three, but right. you set yourself up for a, a gainable, you know, yeah. third, third down right here. Of course, the key thing is all of your offense is available to you. It's not like it's third and 17 right. where you know yeah, you've got to throw it. And no fullback back there. Takes it, yeah. looking for a pass. Now, now looking, throws it, uh oh. Perfect timing by the defensive back to get there just at the last second without committing uh, interference. That's, I believe that's Jones again for them. He's played, made a big play on each side of the ball early in this game. Pretty good throw by Malachi O'Neal. He just threw it about a half second too late. I think he had his receiver open. He threw it a hair earlier. Bottom line is Dublin will be punting now. Evans will be back to kick, standing just outside his 40. Swingler's deep man is back near his 15. Just a good play right there from Swainsboro. Evans runs around, rugby kick, good kick, good high kick, fair catch, signal four, and taking it to 15. Good job by Evans right there. They kick Swainsboro dead inside their own 20. Got a long field to work with yeah. now. See if the Irish defense can come up with a stop. All right, we'll take a quick break and be right back. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. F. Lake and the staff at Lakes Alignment has been serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1954, offering you the best in suspension, alignment, and tire services. And now, F. and Lisa Lake are proud to announce the addition of Neil Harden and our 24-hour truck, trailer, and tire repair facility with state-of-the-art equipment. Lake's Tire Facility is conveniently located to I-16 and all roads throughout Middle Georgia. Call on us 24 hours a day, seven days a week for truck, trailer, and tire repair. Call 272-4230. Serve in the Southeast for over 65 years. Lakes Alignment and now 24-hour truck, trailer, and tire repair. All right, we're back. Swains, we're about to go on offense for the second time here tonight. I have twins right, one man left. But we know what they're going to do. They're going to run right. the ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only question is, will the quarterback hand it off to his running back or keep it? So this is a huge drive right here in the first yeah. quarter. It is. Swainsboro already up yeah. a seven. 
Running off to his right, a little bit of room. Ramonte Darty closed that down quickly. He'll only get a couple yards right there. Maybe three. Let's call it second and seven from the 18. Now down under four minutes to go in the first quarter. Crowd getting into it. Yeah. Low snap, quarterback's gonna keep it, come off to his right with a big hole right out the field, pull it away. He we got, got him. Yeah, Evans trying to catch him, he will not. That'll be a long touchdown run of something on the order of 82 yards for Swainsboro, and they'll go up 13-0. That's, that yeah. hurts. Jackson, you wonder if the low snap kind of threw Dublin off yeah. sometimes with a with a muff or a, like a muff kick or something. The defense breaks down. Once he came off to his right and broke the line of scrimmage, there was nobody there, and he showed speed. We had guys chasing him, but nobody could catch him. He I think you're great speed. I think you're right about that. You know, bad snap over to the left. Yeah, he'll he takes the handoff. He's going to the right side. Down. That's right. And if that hole opens up, he's gone. He can run. So two big plays for Swainsboro yeah. is oh, we're all over the kick. kick. Block that, yeah, I believe that's, that's huge. Ramonte Darty okay. blew in there and just ate that kick up. There we go. That could end up being yeah, huge down the line. Know. Yeah, so that'll make your score 13 nothing Swainsboro with 313 to go from the Shamrock Bowl. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. We're a penalty of some kind was called on that extra point that Dublin blocked. So Swainsboro will get a chance to do it again, and I have no idea what I'm not the call sure was. either, because I, I never saw a yellow flag on the ground. I didn't either. So I, I don't know what's going on right here, but looks like Swainsboro's got another shot to kick it. Yeah. And it, I don't see the ball moved up or any. I don't, I don't know what this could be. Well, it looks like they are closer. Are right they? Thing. Well, I, yeah, I don't, I don't understand that. I think it's still on, on that two-yard line. Bottom line is they called it. All right. This kick is up high and good, so that helped Swainsboro. Yeah, that it did. Caught, enable them to get that extra point, and they take a 14 nothing lead. Looking for a career that's always in demand? How about one that provides you with practical and useful skills? A career that allows you to earn hands-on experience and an education with little to no debt? Oconee Fall Line Technical College prepares students with the right set of skills to succeed in fast-growing careers in healthcare, manufacturing, business, and technology fields. If you're ready to gain the experience you need to start your career locally, OFTC is where it all begins. Oconee Fall Line Technical College. Careers begin here. All right, we're back. Swainsboro to kick off, leading 14 nothing. It's been all Tigers so far. See if Dublin can get something going on this next possession. Kick off to the right, fielded a little outside the 20, fumbled and picked up, and not much there. Oh, we fumble at the end of a still fumble and what run. in the world? Wow, what a way to land and run it <laughs> with the ball. Right. Doherty, and he trips over the turf monster, but he's all the way down to Swainsboro's 45. What a crazy play. Yeah, can you have a crazier kickoff yeah. right there? That needs to be a rehab advantage. Just yeah, let's get a rehab advantage return. to replay on that. <laughs> Dublin return. will muff the kick initially. <laughs> yeah. Then we'll try to take it for a little bit. We'll we'll fumble that thing. We'll bounce it out there. It's not nobody else but the senior right there. Darty. Ramonte Darty. That's a rehab yep. advantage. Instant replay. <laughs> that turf monster got him. He yeah. had a little more. He could have gotten probably ten more oh, yeah. yards. Oh, I yeah. think. I don't think he would have taken it to the house, but. Nah, he had a little more running room. You know, it. Swainsboro speed probably catches yeah, up with him We run a man on late at tight end. Looks like Antonio Benjamin late. Inside handoff, no, no blocking whatsoever right there. They ate the ball carrier up at the line. He might have lost a yard. I believe that was uh, Malachi O'Neill. I'm sorry, Damari Foster. Damari Foster, yeah, thrown for a one yard loss. Interior of Swainsboro's defensive front played that perfectly. They got a couple of good sized guys in there looking at number 50, I believe it is. He looks like a big kid. Yeah. He's some big guys. Left up front. defensive end. Yeah. So the Irish, their offense has yet to get on track in this game. 
quick hitter. Not much blocking that time either. Evans it ran it hard as he could. Helmet flies off. Yeah, I got a few yards, but uh, it's gonna be third and long for Dublin. Be third and about eight. Swainsboro, one of their defenders, had his helmet come off, so he'll have to go out for a play. A third and about eight from Swainsboro's 43-yard so line. The last third and long play we saw, an attempted pass, yep. broken up by the Swainsboro defense. We'll see what we see here. Got one man out wide left. I believe that's uh, Martavis O'Neill. And we will go for it, and he'll go to O'Neill. Yeah, he'll have his first down. All right, there it is. Yeah, inside the 35. Good throw by O'Neill right there. Yeah, good good route yeah, as well. Yeah. On that curl. Martavis O'Neill with a nice catch. Just down to the right 32 there. for a first down for Dublin. Sam right there, waiting on the ball. Gets enough for a first down right there. That's huge. So you, if we may have to throw it a little bit yeah. to try to loosen it up for the run. Exactly too. what I was about to say. You know, yeah. you're running, that's your bread and butter, but you may have to, and here we'll take a deep throw, shot. A man running open, Hampton, with oh, oh, almost made a nearly tremendous Nearly brings catch. it in, great ball right yeah, there. Hampton got his hands on it, would have been an unbelievable catch. Michael O'Neill, what a ball right there. Yeah, nice throw. Nice Only throw. where his guy yeah. can get a hand on it, just yeah. can't pull it in. Tremendous effort by Cam Hampton. No doubt. Clock's dead now, sitting at a minute 30 in the first quarter. Inside handoff, actually keeper O'Neal, nothing doing. He got maybe a yard and he got nailed right at the 30. He got, took a real shot right there. We're having a lot of trouble blocking them right now. O'Neill changed his mind last second there, decides yeah, he, to keep it. He runs, paid for it too. Yeah, he took a shot to the wall. chops right there. Ball will be placed at the 30, giving two, call it second and eight. So once again, third now, and long, third and eight right now here. Less than a minute to go in the first quarter. Last two third and longer situations you went to the pass, you go back Neil to. Neil back to throw, got a man open, great catch. Trey Baldwin down inside the 15, down to about the 12. Tremendous catch by Trey Baldwin. So we've seen that twice now, that quick yeah. pass on the yeah. little curl route, yeah. and Trey Baldwin catches it right there and just back steps for about five extra yards. It looks like this passing attack is catching That's right. Swainsboro yeah. off guard. I don't think they were prepared for that. Ball will be placed at the Swainsboro 12 yard line. Dublin first and 10 from there with 42 seconds to go in the first quarter. Running clock now. Let's see if we stick to the ground right here. You will, triple out. Inside option. handoff, good tough running right there by somebody down to the five. I See, that's what you want. You yeah. had that thing to your fullback on first yeah, down. I believe that's Damari Foster with a nice run. That's a great play right there. Yeah, that really was. That's works. exactly what yeah. you want from your fullback on the first down right there. Yeah. In, in, in this red zone, right. you'll take six tough running yeah, yards right there. Actually give him to the six, so that'll make it second and four. That'd now we got a, that's the end of the quarter, so at the end of one quarter for the Shamrock Bowl, your score, Swainsboro 14, Dublin nothing. Welcome fans, it's time for Friday Night Football. And now, from Farmer State Bank, Ben Knight. Ben Knight, what do you got for us? Ron, we have a ton of excitement tonight, dedication, and a commitment to excellence. Come be a part of our team at Farmer State Bank and join us on Friday night as we celebrate the Crusaders, the Fighting Irish, the Falcons, and the Raiders. And remember, it's as easy as FSB. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. All right, we're back to open the second quarter. Dublin down 14 nothing, but threatening inside the Swainsboro 10 yard line. Inside handoff, there it is. big hole. Down to the one, not quite in, was Foster. Tremendous blocking, Jackson, by the left no side doubt. of Dublin's offensive line that time. He got to the... Looks like he may have went over the line. Yeah, the... Right on that, that one. The shadow of that yeah. ball's got to be over the goal line. By That's how close it is. Away. Yeah. Be third and a... 
Well, they're putting it at put one. It right, I right thought it was all the way one. down at the goal line. They're going to put it at the one. So. What did you Third go with that? First and goal from the okay, one. That's first and goal. That does get the first down. So the Irish in great shape here. Looking to punch it in and cut this deficit in half. Quarterback, Quarterback keeper into the end zone, Malachi O'Neill. And the rehab advantage instant replay. First score of the game for your Dublin Irish. Michael O'Neill takes the snap behind the big boys up front. He'll get in there on the quarterback sneak. It, it's a touchdown and a rehab advantage instant replay. So Good there push right there by the center of Dublin's offensive line. Yeah, no doubt. And get you know, him in the end zone easily. We didn't see those first two drives, but right there, especially near the end of it, some great blocking right there. Bo Baum in for the extra point. Kick is up strong and good. So with 11.37 to go from the Shamrock Bowl, your new score, Swainsboro 14, Dublin 7. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Dustin Gay. I'm a local orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics, and we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a uh, larger space with physical therapy and uh, we're just excited to have it and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. My name is Jeremy Blackstock. I'm the head of school at Trinity Christian School. For over 50 years, our school has faithfully served the Dublin and Lawrence County community. If you are interested in learning more about Trinity Christian, visit our website or also stop by campus, we'd love to show you around. We'd love for your family to be a part of what we're doing here at Trinity Christian School as we endeavor to teach the truth every day. The Lord has blessed us and we have experienced growth this year in our enrollment, but there are still plenty of spots available in K through 12th grade. So if you're interested in touring the school or interested in learning more about our application process, visit our website, TCS web.org or call us here at the school and speak with Dawn Lane, our admissions director. All right, we're back. Dublin about to kick off. I believe that's Connor Daniel will be kicking off. We got a Irish, ball game. Yeah, now got some life going on their sideline. They've cut that deficit in half. Good strong kick, gonna come down inside the 15, down about the 12. Turf monster. He slipped down, went down his knee touch. He'll be down inside the 15. So a great kick by Connor Daniel. That score I'll right put there. Swainsboro in a hole. That's the good news. Of course, the bad news is last time they were in a hole, they got an 82-yard yeah. run yeah. for a touchdown. Hopefully that won't happen again. So I think that score right there from Dublin, that brings some life to yeah. your team, like you say. Yeah. And, and I really – I have belief in the Irish defense that you can contain that big play that because that's what's killing you, right? Yeah. I mean, you hold them to a fourth and 23 first drive, they yeah. throw a bomb touchdown and an 82-yard run on the last drive. So contain that big play, the defense can hold Swainsboro right here. Yeah. I really believe that. That, should, that. that score should give them a boost, too. No doubt. It's all Swainsboro to that point. High snap, not much there. Well played. Somebody came around behind him. I believe that's Darty. Also, uh, Kelwan Gilmore was there as well, helping him out. He'll get. He might lose. That's a. That go for no gain. The ball's at the Swainsboro 14, so they'll be second and 10. That's huge. With 11, 12 to go in the first half. So sort of last Dublin drive, I talked about how you love those five-yard gains from your fullback right there. Well. You love to no gain on right, defense exactly. for Dublin. Yeah. That's huge, especially with both teams running the football like they do. Quarterback coming off to his right, looking for a hole, breaks it outside, strung out well. Oh, we, yeah, we missed contain over there. We had a chance to possibly throw him for a loss, and we lost contain out on the right edge. He'll get a few yards. He'll get about maybe five. It's a great move from that quarterback. That also could have been a late hit on Dublin. He was very close to being out of yeah. bounds when we pushed him. But it's going to be a holding call on Swainsboro, so let's cancel all that. Okay, there we go. Forget yeah. about it. Yeah. All right. So that will take them back inside their own wow. 10 to about the 5, just outside the 5. They'll be second and about. Ball will be placed, looks like at what, the 7, right on 6? The, right on the 6. They've got to get to the 24, so second and 18. So they, they'll probably stay in the gun right here. They've been in yeah. the gun all night, but yeah. if you get pushed back any further, you're, you're chancing that thing. Yeah. Well, so that also, I would think, lessens the chances they take a chance and throw the ball. Right. 
on the step there. No, nah, yeah, you, you wanted some breathing room right here. Quarterback with the handoff, breaks off to his right. There we well go. played by Darty. He'll just get a couple of yards is all. Ramonte Darty's having a huge night already with this Dublin defense. And of course, to boot, he picked up a fumble on a kickoff yeah. and rumbled about 25 yards with it. Hey, he's fired up on senior night, making some plays. Ball will be placed at there just outside, just inside their nine. So third and they call it 15. Yeah, they got to get to the 24. Yeah, third and 15. Huge. Huge, huge chance for Dublin's defense to get off the field on third and long. No doubt. Now, now Jackson, you got to think pass. So they you, probably, you gotta, well, although their throwing quarterback is not in there. And third and 15. Trips right. Here. right Quarterback, quarterback breaks keeper. it off to Man. his right with a lot of room. He's there we go. Come up just wow. short. Oh, Only real about close. Yard short. Real wow. close. Man. Yeah. Oh, let's wait on this yeah. spot here. This will be an interesting yeah. play call. What? Or this will be an interesting decision. Thing that I wonder if Dublin's defensive coaches will remind them that throwing quarterback was not in there. He yeah, wasn't yeah, throw yeah. that ball. I, I, you know, I've yeah. said they. Will they, they go for this? I don't know. This is interesting. You're right here. They, yeah. It looks like it looks they are. Like they are. Yeah, they'll run that Follow thing. Follow be placed at their 17. Now they may try to make us jump. Doubles need to show good discipline here, and not jump offside. Yeah, you got to be prepared for that hard count. That's what it is. Yep. Dublin's been able to stop run short. Yeah, they'll Timeout take, call. Right, they call the time. Swainsboro with fourth and one after they attempted to get Dublin to jump. Great discipline by the Irish defense. They're going to jump. They're yeah, going they for might this go thing. for it again. Now they may, of course. Timeout yeah, Dublin. Now Dublin takes the time to look at it. Good job by Coach Holmes right there. So, All right, we'll take that with them and be right back. Let me be free. There's a Can-Am waiting for you at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin. Folks are coming from all over to enjoy the country cooking at Minner General Store. Start your day off right with fresh cooked breakfast, including grits, bacon, eggs, sausage, and homemade biscuits. Lunch time, stop in for delicious fried chicken, pork chops, and all your favorite meats and vegetables. Look for our specials, including hamburger steak. We also have all your feed, seed, and beverage needs. See why folks are driving from all over to enjoy the food at Minner General Store. All right, we're back. Swainsboro with fourth and one. They've got their offense out there yet again, Jackson. Apparently yep. they intend to go for this. I mean, this is, yeah. they'll go for it now. You I may still so. see another hard count, but they're going for this thing. Apparently so. Fourth and a full yard. They do run the play. The quarterback right up the gut. Big hole. He may be gone again. Oh, Man. somebody just got him by the leg. Boy, he is tough on that quarterback keeper. Quick. Good play from that safety out there. Because I thought he was about to go the house call once again. Yeah. It'd be all the way up to the 44, so that's a gain of something like 21 yards right Golly, there. on the fourth and one play, a huge yeah. gain. Uh, you know, every guy in that backfield for Swainsboro tonight is going to be fast. Coach Holmes, Coach Holmes said on the coach's show, maybe the fastest group he's ever had to play against. Inside handoff, not much doing. Yeah, he'll, good job by the interior of Dublin's defense. They're holding to about a, well, he might get, as much as three, but it was well played. Nazir Johnson, I believe, was involved in that play. Irish trying to get their first stop of the yeah. dub, uh, Swainsboro offense all night. That's right, we have not seen yeah. their punting unit tonight. Yeah, trips right, one man left, but that's of no consequence. Yeah, They're going to no. run the ball. Yeah, they were running football. Quarterback keeper off to his right. Nice move. He'll have his first Got down at the 45. Let's check the flag, though. Watch for a holding call. 
Rarely do you see, see a team spread out like this and, yeah. and run the football every play. Yeah. So. They thrown one ball all night, but unfortunately it went for a touchdown yeah. on fourth down and 23. Holding on Swainsboro will back them up. And see one of their coaches across the way just threw it, took his play sheet and just threw it there. Swainsboro having a rough time with the penalties tonight. We noticed during one of our breaks, every single one of their players pressed up against that brick wall on the sideline yeah. after that sideline after penalty. That side warning, they, want, they don't want to get another call no. or penalty. So the holding call takes them all the way back to their 39. They've got to get to the 46 of Dublin, so that's what, 11, call it second and 16. Hand off, not much there, well played. There we saw, go. Uh, that 53, 63, yeah, that's John Calvin with a nice play right there. So this is the first time you've had them longer yeah. than third and yeah. 10. Here we are, third and 13 from the 41. So this would appear to be a chance for Dublin's offense to get off the right. field. All right, the running quarterback is in the game. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> let them know, let them know. So. It's going to be a run play here. Uh, they got trips right, one man left, it don't matter. They're running the ball. Oh, oh yeah. great play by Big Darnie. Play. Wow. Darnie, the senior. He absolutely planted him about five yards behind the line. Have a nice wow. Darnie, come on. Monte Darnie, that's a rehab advantage. Yeah, give me a rehab play. advantage right there. Well, Monte Darnie with a huge sack. On third down, well, actually, tackle for loss because sure. it wasn't a yeah. Wasn't I guess a pass that was lost. Yeah. Buzz through that line. Yeah, he, a rehab that, advantage. He absolutely three. whipped his man right there and met that quarterback at least five yards behind the line. Huge play. First we've seen of their punting unit. Yep. Let's see what Good they can snap. bring. Good pressure. A lot of pressure. Decent kick. No fair kick. We signal. it and got some it space. Up. Dublin fans nice getting fired up. Down inside the 40 to the 35. Great return by Malachi O'Neill of about, probably about 30, at least 30 yards on that return. The crowd is absolutely yeah, fired up yeah. in this game. Offense, good yeah. field to work with. It's a seven point ball game. We got a ball game on our hands, but sure do. We sure do. So here we go. Malachi O'Neill fielded that ball somewhere and looked just outside the 30, so he got about, I'm gonna guess over maybe 30, maybe 35 yards out of that about return. Right. Thought for a second he was gonna break that thing. Timeout, Swainsboro. Now Swainsboro's got a timeout, they had a personnel issue, so we'll take it with them and be right back. Matt Hatchett, your District 150 representative from Orange, Trutland, and Johnson Counties is proud to support our local high schools, our East Orange Falcons, Trinity Crusaders, the Dublin High Fighting Irish, the West Orange Raiders, the Trutland County Vikings, and the Johnson County Trojans. Matt Hatchett, your District 150 representatives. Go team! It's that time of year when we come together to support our team. And our team here at Dublin Chevy Buick GMC is here to support you. Let's take a test drive. No, just get out there. Oh. Whether it's helping you with your next purchase or just servicing your current vehicle. Good afternoon, Mr. Smith. We've got your Chevrolet ready and enjoy your vacation. North and south. <laughs> There's a nip in the air and the games have been played. And we're in mid-season form here at Dublin Chevrolet Buick GMC. All right, we're back. Dublin with great field position after Malachi O'Neill really electrified this place with a tremendous punt return. Yeah. Crowd got real fired up down our break. And off around left side, nothing doing for Hampton. They had a man bust in and whip the block. He'll I think he'll probably go for no gain right there. We, we didn't get the blocking out on the left side yep. of our offensive line. Well played by, I guess that was it, one of their defensive linemen on the right side, I believe. Got to have that blocking out there to the left side. Actually, give him a yard. I'm surprised he got that and called yeah. it second. Well, no, actually, he lost a yard. Excuse me, second and 11. So he did lose yardage on that play. Here we go. 
Double reverse. handoff. Good block. Now. Hampton just couldn't quite pull his leg free from one man that had him down near the 30. Decent gain right there, but that almost Jackson was a nice gainer. Yeah, it was real close. Yeah, like I said, that one man got just him. couldn't pull his leg down away. That'll bring up third and eight. Ball will be spotted at Swainsboro's 33-yard line. Now Dublin's kind of in that no man's land yeah. where you might not be able to reach for a field goal, but yeah. you might not want to punt if you get the fourth down. Depending what you, how much you gain here, we'll see on the fourth down call. Pass point. Back to throw, got a Same man open. Same thing we've seen. The ball, he'll have his first down. Tremendous there it is. Catch. Trey ball. We won't have to worry about that fourth down. Yep, tremendous job. Great throw. Malachi O'Neal throwing the ball very well tonight. Tremendous job by Trey Ball when he go up and catch that ball on a big third down and make a big third down conversion. Killing Swainsboro on those pass plays and the same thing. Yeah. Guy just sits right there, waits on a great pass from O'Neal and yeah. first down. Yeah. It looks like Dublin's passing game has caught them off guard. They don't seem to be quite ready for it. Yeah. Empty backfield. Now, Dublin's got twins got left this time. Empty backfield. Hampton coming around and gets a handoff, no blocking. Great job by one of their. Oh, did the ball come out? I think he was down. I believe he was down. Yeah, he's got to be down or, right there. Or either Dublin jumped on it, one or the other. Swainsboro crowd not liking it either way. I but thought they, he was down, honestly. Yeah, I, I'm thinking he had to be down right there. It was a late, late, late ball popping out, I guess. Now so. down to four minutes to go in the half. Swainsboro leads at 14-7. The Irish trying to take advantage of great field position, possibly tie this game up. Short field right here, but it, it's not, you know, obviously you want the score. It's not the worst thing in the world to run right. some clock as well. O'Neal back Going to throw for a deep this shot. time. Oh, and picked off in the end zone. Yeah, he understood that just a little. That was a tough throw. They yeah. had two defenders yeah. over there covering Trey Ball, and that was a tough chance right there. He tries to fit it in right there and just underthrown. Yeah, the underthrown ball, they had a chance to break on it, and that's a good job by their secondary. They, we talked about that, that Dublin's throwing game has kind of caught them off guard, but give Swainsboro credit. They yeah, had that play, play very well defense. Yeah, and, and the ball it stayed in the air just too long, yeah. enough of that Swainsboro secondary man to go high point that thing and pick it off. So that hurt real bad yeah. as you were you were driving right there, pushing. Now Dublin needs to get off the field. They do not need to let Swainsboro drive down and get more points before the end of the half. You got to avoid the big play, which right. is what's killed you all night. And you only got 3:38 right. on the clock, and that right. you know that's a lot of time. But with them running the football, if you can keep them to short gains, right. you can get off this football field. Quarterback hands off, bust the line, nice tackle right there by, I believe that's Malachi O'Neal. Good play from your linebackers. Yeah, he, he had a little bit of a head of steam up. Yeah. He'll still get about five yards. Second five, Swainsboro with only one timeout now. And we're now down to 319 okay. to go in the half. So that may that may be a factor. That also very well yeah. could factor in. As I, I mean, that clock's rolling, about to go into three minutes before this ball yeah. snapped. Yeah, and they're not, they're not in any hurry. They're nope. taking a lot of time. Yeah, they're going to be down under three minutes before they break the huddle. Yep, here we go. They're taking a lot of time right here. Yeah, you, you got things show some urgency right well, here. Well, we got one timeout to work with. Hand Get off, oh, well back. played by, there we go. yeah, I believe that was John Calvin. Yeah, well played right there. Yeah, 35 now for Swainsboro with 2.37 to go. Yeah, great play from your D-line right there. They got a man over on their sideline just on the field of play. So is that a new quarterback? Or? I don't, I, yeah. Is that a new man? He's got, 12, he's got a play sheet on his wrist. 12, that's yeah, that's a different Bryson man. Bryson Tarver doesn't list his position. But that's not, not right. the guy we saw throw that 20 yard right. or that, that 30 yard hand touchdown, hand. Beth. Yeah. yeah. He'll keep it and this go up the field, have his first down. I, I, I don't know, Mr. Crescent. He might be he, just We'll short. see where that spot yeah, is. I, yeah, I think they're going to go ahead and give it to him. Yeah, they, they move the chains. That'll stop the clock with 158 to go. Man, I don't know. I, ooh. 
Well, they gave him all the way across the 30. I didn't think he even got to Yeah, the I don't know. I, I guess you give him full progress right there. So, Tarver's still in there at quarterback. Now down to 149. Again, the clock working against Swainsboro with only one timeout. The Irish defense cannot give up a big play here. Yep, that, exactly. And Tarver's got fresh Handoff legs. off to his right. A little bit of a hole. Somebody made a great tackle, though. I believe that was uh, Malachi O'Neill maybe on that tackle. Clock under a minute yeah, 30 yeah. right here. Yeah. Band's getting ready to come on the field. So Swainsboro now trying to run the plays a little faster, I think. Now down to 120. They come up. Velvet runs a man off late. I believe that's Cornelius Rosier. He's getting to the point where they really have to have a big play to put yeah. points on this board. Unless they start throwing the football. Quarterback keeper off to the right with some room, and he'll get he out may of get out of bounds. He ran, wow, he really finished that run off. That's, that's the man we've seen all night. He got out night. of bounds with 101. Yeah, that's uh, Levante, no, uh, DeMello Jones. So he's back in there now. I assume that's DeMello. They list DeMello Jones, a wide receiver and cornerback, but number one's been playing. According to our sheet, that's DeMello Jones. Quarterback all night. He's an athlete. Uh, the ball's at Swainsboro's 41. He did get out of bounds with 101 head. to go in the half. Again, Swainsboro with one timeout to work with. Dublin defense just trying to slow them down and prevent them from putting more points on the board here at the end of the half. Coming off to his right, pretty well played. Got to make the Keep tackle. Keep him inbound. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go. So it's a, definitely a huge win right here Our for the Irish. O'Neal right there. All right, Swainsboro use their last time out now with 48. 48 seconds to go, second and five. We'll take a time out with them and be right back. Jeff Shepard here back in Roach Farm and Garden where hunting season never ends. Need a new feeder? Roach Farm and Garden carries boss, buck, and moultrie, spin, and gravity. Even got them that hold 600 pounds. And that's a lot of feed. Speaking of feed, Roach Farm and Garden carries 4S Draw, FRM, Wild Game Innovation, and even Antler Extreme. Whole kernel corn, corn on the cob, pick up your salt blocks, and even have trophy blocks. Don't forget, Roach Farm and Garden carries trapping supplies so you can take control of your property. It's right next to the 4S draw. You need something to cook your game? Roach Farm and Garden has grills, griddles, fryers, and smokers. Roach Farm and Garden carries a full line of patio furniture, flags, wind chimes, and bird feeders. Don't leave out of here with some holy boots and shoes. We got a full line of Carhartt and Georgia boot. Come see us at Roach Farm and Garden, two locations, Wrightsville and Dublin. There's a Can-Am waiting for you at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin. All right, we're back. Swainsboro with second and five from their 46. There's 47 seconds to go in the half. They lead 14-7. Swainsboro out of timeouts. So if Dublin can hold right here from any points on the board, that's a huge win for the Irish going into halftime. D-line shifts. Now, in the round, we lose contain on the right side. Oh, well played, though, by O'Neill and Darty, I think, ran him down. He'll have wow. his first down. That's a good recovery yeah. right on, over there by Dublin. Darty and, I believe, was it O'Neill? I believe. He ran a long way to he only sure get did. five. Yeah, yeah. And, and you could see the way that quarterback came was right. The Dublin defense broke with him, but fortunately, a couple of guys were able to get back in position. Quarterback off to his right, down the sideline. Get him out. He'll be out of bounds Still, near the 30. Though. Okay. With 28 seconds to go now in the half. Man, this is big. They, you know, on the extra points, their yeah. kicker seems to have a decent leg. Yeah. I'm just basing that off watching the extra points, so right. it seems like he can. I'm assuming they have not kicked a lot of field goals. No, here, no. I, I, usually they find that end zone, it, right. it seems. Iris trying to prevent that right now. Right, the ball will be placed at the 34 of Dublin. 
28 seconds to go. Again, no timeouts for Swainsboro. Twins right and left. Quarterback looks to throw oh, wait this a minute. time. Yep. Okay, no flags. No flag. Yeah. Good yeah. job by Jaquarius Evans to be in position to run with yeah. that wide receiver. Didn't let him get behind him. Quarterback did show a decent arm right yeah. there. Yeah, so you can't. Uh, Swainsboro crowd booing, but that was a, I thought that was a very good no call. Yeah. Let them play. We, we want to listen to that crowd. So, okay, you burn only five seconds right there, but now you gotta, you gotta respect his arm a little bit. He has right. shown that. And the secondary can't fall asleep out of there any exactly. tonight with that exactly. being their first pass play. Give Evans with that credit, guy. he was in good position. Yeah, well, no doubt. Great play in that secondary. Okay, so this is the kid. Here's the throwing Here's the quarterback, passer, the number left 16, I believe it is. Okay, so now, what? Pacing delay a game, field. delay a game. Delay a game on swing. That's run. really big. They don't have a timeout, so there's no way they could stop it. Yeah, okay, delay a game. Oh, I thought they were trying to act like a timeout. I'm sorry. Yeah, that'll take them back nearly to the 40, back to the 41. So that hurts their efforts. Maybe they wanted to eat this delay game and sort of use it as yeah, a timeout. That doubling calls timeout to make okay. sure their personnel are set. We'll take it with them and be right back. Hi, I'm Kyle Gerard with A-plus Flooring and Construction. We're in our showroom and I want to show you some of the new products that we have. We have a complete line of ceramic tile from Premier Tile. We also have the new Chesapeake LVP display as well as a lot of our shawl carpet displays. We'd love for you to come down and shop with us here at A-plus Flooring and Construction. A couple new things that we have, we have a brand new complete line of cabinets. We also have our new metal roof distributor for metal roofs here in town, as well as shingle roofs. We can supply all your needs at A-plus Flooring and Construction. So come see us at 371 Georgia Highway 338 or give us a call at 478-676-2662. Matt Hatchett, your District 150 representative for Lawrence, Trutland, and Johnson Counties is proud to support our local high schools, our East Lawrence Falcons, Trinity Crusaders, the Dublin High Fighting Irish, the West Lawrence Raiders, the Trutland County Vikings, and the Johnson County Trojans. Matt Hatchett, your District 150 representatives. Go team! All right, we're back. Swainsboro just took a delay of game penalty to take the ball back to Dublin's 41. They've got 23 seconds to try to put points on the board. However, they are out of timeout, so they'll have to do it without a timeout to work with. So they're passing the ball from here on out. Uh, 16 is in there. He's yeah. their throwing quarterback. He's a left-hander, too. So, so he will probably roll to his left to try to throw. They won't run the football with no timeouts left, and they would have to get out of bounds to save any chance yeah, of them scoring. Looking score. to throw, big pressure, he got hit. Takes a deep shot, good ball. Down. Has a man open, down to about the two. Wow. That clock's running, that clock's yeah. running, they don't have a timeout, they gotta come clock it. Clock's rolling, oh man, once the chains get set, yeah, then it's rolling. Yeah, they gotta have the chains set. Boy, the passing game is killing them. All right, let's see what they do here, right they clock this? Man. Same quarterback Clock's in there, rolling. he'll spike. spike it with 12, 11 seconds. 11 seconds. 11 Dang. seconds. Now they'll go, I imagine they'll bring in their other quarterback, they will. Yeah, they will. Wow, Dublin now has given run. up two big plays in the passing game that have really hurt them in this first half. But still, they really. And we had a chance to sack him, we had somebody in yeah, on Yeah, I know, yeah, right in his grill. Just couldn't get him down. But still, okay, no, no, throwing quarterback back in the game, they'll take a, so with 11 seconds left, if you run the football and don't get in, that's it with no timeouts. Right. That's true. Yeah, they may try so to throw they, this they ball. They may take yeah. three shots or. Yeah. yeah. Good point, Jackson. Take a few shots at it. Yeah, they'll he's throw looking it. Looking to his left, throws to the deep out of bounds. Oh, oh, that was a foul. Oh, oh, touchdown. I was calling that yeah. bounds. So they've thrown three passes and three completions. And two scores. Dublin's pass defense has let them down in this first half. Swainsboro now takes a 20 to seven lead with only six seconds to go in the half. Man. Their few pass attempts have been extremely successful. 
I think four total, but three with 16, and he's three for three for yeah. about 80 yards and two scores. Yeah. Nearly blocked. Kick is up and good. So, there's three score for Shamrock Bowl, Swainsboro 21, Dublin 7. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed amount of equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amana, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amana dealer. Amana lasts and lasts and lasts. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Six seconds left here in this first half, Mr. Crather. This, could, this kickoff could end the half. Yep. But like you pointed out, Dublin will get the ball at the start of the second half. All right, so this Hampton. is probably going to be it. Yep, with the ball. No, no. Nope. One second left. So. See what Dublin does. One second to go. One second to go. Coach Holmes had taken off his headset. But now he's going to call in one last play. Coach Holmes thought time expired, but one play here. We'll see if the Irish take a shot. Passing, passing game has been there for Dublin, but take, taking one deep shot, which is obviously what you would assume you could do it here if you pass it. Taking one deep shot, and it was broken up, but a good ball from O'Neill. So we'll see what they come out with here. Same formation. Might just run the ball and run it into halftime. We'll see. It is and what will happen, Hampton but he breaks has into space. the open field, but he'll he'll be taken down inside the in Swainsboro territory. That will end the first half. So your score from the Shamrock Bowl halftime, Swainsboro 21, Dublin 7. I'm Heath Richter, and uh, we just uh, want to invite everybody to come on down to uh, the Houston Clinic and check us out at our new facility. Uh, we've been in Dublin for a while now, obviously, but uh, have, uh, have a new office here, and we'd just like you to come down and see some of the new stuff we're offering. And uh, if you need to get checked out, we'd be glad to do that for you. We've got uh, able to do some ultrasound guided injections now and um, physical therapy and just a little bit better space, so hopefully we can get you in and out of here a little bit quicker. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Dublin City School Superintendent Dr. Fred Williams and Dublin High School Principal Jamie T. Polk, we would like to welcome you to our senior night festivities as we recognize our Fighting Irish varsity football seniors as well as varsity cheerleaders. So at this time, if you will, if you will pay attention to the field, focus your attention to the field as we recognize our senior football players as well as cheerleaders. Representing the Fighting Irish varsity football team. Number four, Chryson Harvey. Chryson is being escorted tonight by his father, Jarius Harvey, and stepmother, Vincia Carr Harvey. Chryson's most memorable moment playing for the Fighting Irish is making varsity his sophomore year. Ladies and gentlemen, number four, Chryson Harvey. Number seven, Jaquavius Evans. Jaquavius is being escorted tonight by his mother, Angela Richardson, his father, Chris Darasol, and sister, Jaquavia Evans, and Armani Darasol. Jaquavius's most memorable moment playing for the Fighting Irish would be finishing the game against Wilcox County with 14 tackles and an interception his sophomore year. Ladies and gentlemen, number seven, Jaquavius Evans. Number 19, Trey Baldwin. Trey is being escorted tonight by his mother, Joy Adams, and his girlfriend, Takia Bell. Trey's most memorable moment playing for the Fighting Irish was winning player of the game from TV 35, as well as by the Touchdown Club against Wilkinson County. Ladies and gentlemen, number 19, Trey Baldwin. Number 30, Antonio Benjamin. Antonio is being escorted tonight by his mother, Mary Lovett, his father, Antonio Benjamin, sister, Azoria Lovett, and mentor, Christopher Johnson. Antonio's most memorable moment playing for the Fighting Irish was catching his first two touchdown passes last Friday against East Lawrence. 
Ladies and gentlemen, number 30, Antonio Benjamin. Number 41, Isaiah Landers. Isaiah is being escorted tonight by his mother, Melissa Brantley. Isaiah's most memorable moment playing for the Fighting Irish is playing in the East Lawrence game last week. Ladies and gentlemen, number 41, Isaiah Landers. Number 51, Ramonte Darty. Ramonte is being escorted tonight by his mother, Yamoka Darty, and uncle, Dominic Darty. Ramonte's most memorable moment playing for the Fighting Irish was getting hit by Tom his sophomore year, as well as meeting Coach Holmes for the very first time. Ladies and gentlemen, number 51, Ramonte Darty. Number 52, Menelik Madison. Menelik is being escorted tonight by his mother Tiffany Madison and grandmother Vivian Hilbert. Menelik's most memorable moment playing for the Fighting Irish is playing varsity his sophomore year and getting his first sack. Ladies and gentlemen, number 52, Menelik Madison. Number 60, Desmond Gilbert. Desmond is being escorted tonight by his mother Denise Brown, father William Gilbert, stepmother Alicia Gilbert, and sister Kiara Brown. Desmond's most memorable moment playing for the Fighting Irish is the homecoming game from last year, where he broke his, not only his knuckles, but he also entered the game with six pancakes and eight tackles. Ladies and gentlemen, number 60, Desmond Gilbert. And number 63, John Calvin. John is being escorted tonight by his mother, Sonia Calvin, Father J.W. Calvin, Grandmother Rosetta May, and Sister Ariel Calvin. John's most memorable moment playing for the Fighting Irish was his first varsity tackle as a Dublin football player. Ladies and gentlemen, number 63, John Calvin. And now, representing the Dublin High School Fighting Irish varsity cheerleaders. Captain for the Fighting Irish Varsity Football Cheerleaders, Tatiana Carr. Tatiana is the daughter of Chantel Williams. She is represented tonight by her mother as well as her sister, Alyssa Davis. Tatiana's most favorable DHS moment was being named the 2022-2023 Varsity Cheer Captain and being able to cheer for the 2019 state championship. Ladies and gentlemen, Tatiana Carr. The co-captain for the Fighting Irish Varsity Football Cheerleaders, India Newton. India is the daughter of Rodney and Juliet Newton. She is represented tonight by her parents as well as her brother, Isaac Newton. India's most memorable moment, DHS moment that is, was enjoying all the funny moments during pregame with her teammates and cheering on the team with countless victories. Ladies and gentlemen, India Newton. Sky Willis. Sky is the daughter of Lakeitha Kanita. She is being represented tonight by her mother as well as Sammy Demons. Sky's favorite moment, as far as DHS is concerned, was when the Fighting Irish won state her freshman year, which was her best experience of her high school career. Another memorable moment was when the football team was doing their job very well a few weeks ago in Bleckley County. And the band, cheerleaders, and dancers were all lit and happy that the team was winning. Ladies and gentlemen, Sky Willis. Marissa Robinson. Marissa is being represented tonight by Jackie Robinson, James Robinson, and Rod Hudson. Marissa's favorite moment at DHS is right now hard to choose because she's still making moments and making memories as we speak. But if she had to choose one, it would be running the flag for the very first time. Ladies and gentlemen, Marissa Robinson. Carmen Jordan. Carmen is the daughter of Mia Hunt and Lorenzo Hunt. She is represented tonight by her parents as well as her siblings, Ariana Wilcox and Micah Hunt. Carmen's favorite moment at DHS was going to the state championship in ninth grade which was her first year. Ladies and gentlemen, Carmen Jordan. Alexandra Bostic. 
Alexandra is the daughter of Erica Williams. She is represented tonight by her mother as well as her brothers, Jordan Bostick, Xavier Bostick, and Trey Bostick. Alexandra's favorite moment while at DHS was going to the state championship game and winning the title in 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexandra Bostick. Brittany Jr. Brittany is the daughter of Ryan and Carolyn Jr. She is represented tonight by her parents, as well as her sister, Aaliyah Schmidt, brothers Sean Plummer and Ken Plummer, and nephew Zachary Wesley. Brittany's favorite moment while at DHS was when the Fighting Irish won the state championship during her ninth grade year, which was her first year cheering for the varsity football cheerleading squad. Ladies and gentlemen, Brittany Jr. And Samaje Jones. Samajay is represented tonight by Karanda Brown, Linton Jones, and Jacarian Jones. Samajay's favorite moment while at DHS was being elected to the homecoming court her senior year. Ladies and gentlemen, Samajay Jones. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause to our DHS Fighting Irish Senior Varsity football players and cheerleaders. This time, if you will focus your attention to the field, we will have the honor and privilege of recognizing our band and auxiliary seniors. Representing the Fighting Hours Band and Auxiliary, Spiritual Gilmore. Spiritual is the daughter of Tabitha Jones and Kelly Gilmore. She is being escorted tonight by her parents, her siblings, and her godfather, Derek Reese. Spiritual has been a member of the Fighting Hours Band Auxiliary for one year. She's also been a member of the Art Club and FCCLA. Spiritual enjoys working, baking, dancing, getting on her mother's nerves, and making TikToks with the best friend. At graduation, she plans to attend Denver University to become a pediatric nurse and then enlist in the United States Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, Spiritual Gilmore. Edward Lanier III. Edward is the son of Edward Lanier Jr. and Monica Lanier. He is being escorted tonight by his parents. Edward has been a member of the Fighting Irish Band for four years. Edward enjoys fishing and video games. To graduation, he plans to pursue post-secondary studies in computer science. Ladies and gentlemen, Edward Lanier III. Shania Lyle. Janiah is the daughter of Rhonda Scott and Charles Lyle II. She is being escorted tonight by her mother and her sister Taylor. Janiah has been a member of both the Fighting Irish Band and the Fighting Irish Band Auxiliary for a combined five years. She has also been an occasional member of the chess and math clubs. Janiah enjoys dancing, reading, family time, completing word searches, and coloring. After graduation, she plans to attend either Savannah State University or Alabama a and University and major music and psychology. Ladies and gentlemen, Shania Lyle. Amari Marshall. Amari is the son of Marquia Epps. He's being escorted tonight by his mother, Marquia Epps, and D. Epps. He has been a member of the Fighting Irish Band for five years. He's also been a member of the eSports and tennis teams, the Beta and Chess Clubs. Additionally, he has competed in several academic competitions to include the recent math and writing contests, as well as participating in several honor bands. Amari enjoys playing chess, tennis, and video games, listening to music, and hanging out with his friends. At graduation plans to attend North Carolina a and University and major in technical engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, Amari Marshall. <laughs> Nyana Mills. Nyana is the daughter of Nairobi Mills and the late Roy Wade. She is being escorted tonight by her mother and her aunt, Kenna King. Nyana has been a member of the Fighting Irish Band Auxiliary for one year. Nyana enjoys singing and being with family. At graduation plans to attend Battle State University and become an EMT. Ladies and gentlemen, Nyana Mills. <laughs> Madeline Rayner. Madeline is the daughter of Marcus and Kimberly Rayner. She is being escorted tonight by her parents. 
Madeline has been a member of the Fighting Irish Band for four years. She has also been involved with numerous clubs, teams, and organizations, including the Lady Irish Basketball Team, the Beta and Chorus Clubs, FCCLA, the DHS Student Council, the Morris Bank Leadership Advisory Council, the Lawrence Youth Leadership Council, and the Student Advisory Council for the Georgia Department of Education. Additionally, she has competed in one act literary regional state competitions, as well as several recent writing contests. Madeline enjoys spending time with loved ones, making memories with friends, watching thriller movies, reading books and webtoons, painting, listening to music, singing, and playing her alto saxophone. After graduation, she plans to pursue post-secondary studies in general psychology at either Howard University, Vanderbilt University, Duke University, the University of Georgia, or Bethune Cooper University. Ladies and gentlemen, Madeline Rayner. Lentoria Rosier. Lentoria is the daughter of Terrence and Tanya Rosier. She is being escorted tonight by her parents. Lentoria has been a member of both the Fighting Irish Band and Fighting Irish Band Auxiliary for a combined four years. She has also been a member of the Beta Club, the Junior Varsity Basketball Cheerleading Squad, as well as the Varsity Basketball Manager. Lentoria enjoys dancing, spending time with family and friends, spending her parents' money, and singing. Graduation plans to attend Georgia State University to become a sonographer. Ladies and gentlemen, Lentoria Rosier. <laughs> Tia Rosier. <laughs> Tia is the daughter of Tawana and Terrence Rosier. She is being escorted tonight by her parents. Tia has been a member of both the Fighting Irish Band and the Fighting Irish Band Auxiliary, for which she serves as captain for a combined four years. She's also been a member of the dance team as well as the Lady Irish Junior Varsity Basketball Team. Tia enjoys fashion, sleeping, spending uh, her parents' money, and hanging out with her boyfriend. At graduation plans to attend Savannah State University and pursue post-secondary education in nursing. Ladies and gentlemen, Tia Rosier. Scott Kiria Tomlin. Scott Kiria is the daughter of Elmer and Sequenta Mason. She is being escorted tonight by her parents and her siblings, Shyla and Kendall. Scott Curry has been a member of the Fighting Irish Band Auxiliary for one year. She's also been a member of the Beta Club, the Student Council, and the IB program. Scott Curry enjoys reading, listening to music, shopping, painting, doing hair, and arts and crafts. After graduation, Scott Curry plans to pursue post-secondary studies in ultrasound technology and eventually open up her own practice. Ladies and gentlemen, Scott Curia, Tom Kittles. Since 1916, Gravely has been designed, engineered, and made right here in the USA. Whether you prefer gas or electric, every Gravely has been forged with the commercial landscaper in mind. So they're not only built to last, but to also keep you riding comfortably from dawn to dusk. So ask yourself, are you ready to graduate to a Gravely? Find your new Gravely mower at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin. All right, we're back for the opening kickoff of the second half. Swainsboro kicking to Dublin. Dublin kind of took a body blow, giving up that touchdown yeah. at the end of the half. Let's we'll see if they can get it right back. Kick comes down just outside the 10. I uh, got a flag down. Cam Hampton, I believe it is, broke up the sideline. One man got him by the ankle, but let's check that flag. Assume it's on Dublin, yeah. just yeah. sort of the way that goes right. typically. Or was that Evans? I thought it was Cam Hampton. I think it was Evans. Let's check this penalty. Illegal block on Dublin yeah. below the waist. I wonder if that's a spot foul. A little chop block, cut block right there. We'll see where they spot it. All right, so Irish, as we said before our break right there, are going to get the football. Well, this is really big. You knew it was going to be an uphill battle tonight. You knew wow. you had the number two team wow. in the state in the Swainsboro Tigers here. But Dublin, down 14 here, really played well with them, and we've said it. And I can't stress yeah. enough, the big plays is, it's how big Swainsboro got their us. points yeah, on the board. The, and the big plays in the passing game. Yeah, yeah, who would have who thunk it? So All right, Dublin backed up now. Well, not still at their 20, but 
35 yards or 25 yards or so where they would have been. Yeah, a while to go. Good run oh, to start this half. Great run to start the half for a first down. Spins out of it. Enough for right at a first down. Second and less than a yard now for the Irish. Class A, Division I, Region II title on the line tonight. Irish trying to come back down 14 here to secure that thing. Big drive here, that could help him do it. That same triple option look. Another Black penalty, yeah, Hampton, ooh, hit hard after a couple of yards. Let's check this flag. He popped right back up, he took a big hit, yeah. popped up. So the flag flew around the 50. Yeah, yeah. See, check the call. Is it's it on, on Swainsboro? Yeah. Or either they picked up the flag, one or the other. Oh, oh side, no Sideline warning on, is that on, on Dublin? Dublin? Oh, I thought it was on Swainsboro right there. No, they're all up against the wall. I thought they were going to send the boys back <laughs> to the locker really room. can't really call that. Yeah. yeah. They're up against the edge of the base of the wall. Okay. So. One each, yeah. It, was it a, oh, it's, it's just the warning. That, right, that that's confused a warning me the first time. time. So each, that, have, each have had a warning, so I think the next one would be a penalty. Yeah, that's what I was just about to side. get at. If that would have been Swainsboro, that would have been a penalty. Right. Coach probably would have sent half his team to sit in the locker room the rest of the game. But but bottom line is Dublin's got a first down. That's right. They're 34, I believe it is. Yep. First down. Big game right there. 14. There must have been another penalty. Side hand off to Hampton, no blocking. He's met right at the line. He'll probably lose a yard. Well played by the right side of Swainsboro's defensive front. He might lose a little bit of yardage right there. I think we missed a penalty yeah. on Swainsboro right there because on the first play we only ran for nine. So there must have been a five yard penalty as well with that sideline warning. So we'll take an extra five right there. Yeah. Knows the football touching the 39, so second and 10 for Dublin. I feel like the Irish really need to get some points coming out of second no half. Doubt. Evans, no blocking. No way, no. Uh, strung out. He'll lose about two yards. We had no blocking on the right side of Dublin's offensive line right there. So it'll be third and long, third and at least 11. Ran right into a couple of defenders right there, just yeah, nowhere to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, they, they strung that out and got penetration, and it was, like you say, absolutely nowhere for the ball carrier to go. So I'd say about every time we've been in this third and long situation, you've seen that little pass play. We'll yeah. see if we go to it here. Flag. And now you got a flag. False start. False start, so Dublin's really, mistakes are, Made a, mistakes are coming out here early in the third quarter by the Irish. Maybe we're getting them out of our system uh, here. Yeah. Well, that'll take it back to the 28. Be third and about 16. Long way to go on this third down play. Still a lot of football to be played now, early in the second half. Trey Baldwin. If I'm not mistaken, is and yeah. uh, I am not yeah. Yeah. Out, out wide left. Out. O'Neal with the wraparound handoff to Foster. He gets a few yards. Oh, breaks three oh. across the 40. Good, good run. He'll be at least four yards short of his first down, but a nice run by Foster. Yeah. Looks like a wraparound handoff. Actually, he'll be all the way up at. The, they've got that ball. Well, let's see. The, and the 41, so it'll be fourth and about three. Huge fourth Dublin down Dublin may be going for this. I mean, this is really huge here. Early in the now second half. We may be looking to make them jump. Yeah, no so doubt. Let's see. You'll probably try it because if you give Swainsboro the football right here, yeah, and with them being up two yeah. scores, that's, that's going right. to be big for the rest that's of this ball trouble. game. That's yeah, for trouble. sure. So you got two guys split out, one on each side. Now we got a timeout, I assume, by Swainsboro. Oh, Dublin. 
Okay. All right, we'll take a quick break with them and be right back. Badcock Home Furniture and More is your home store where you'll find great savings on new living room sets, sofas, love seats, recliners, and more. Badcock Home Furniture and More has great savings every day on bedding and bedroom sets. Shop Badcock Home Furniture and More for a great selection of dining room sets and save every day on electronics and appliances at Badcock Home Furniture and More. 1927 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 275-3144 for more information. Or stop by and see Wendy and Tim Sumner or any of their friendly staff today at Badcock and More Home Furniture Store, where no credit is ever refused. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Dustin Gay. I'm a local orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics, and we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a larger space with physical therapy, and uh, we're just excited to have it, and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. Oh. All right, we're back. Looks like Dublin will punt now. Jaquarius Evans standing back at his 30. Really hope burning that timeout doesn't come back to bite you later. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. So Evans punt it as the YMCA kind of Turn fades man will out. be standing back around his 30. Evans can put a decent leg on it. Got the guys split out. A little bit of a low snap. He runs it off. Oh, they got a piece of it, I think. Swingsburg got a piece of it. It knuckles down to about the 40. Decent so not, I think Swainsboro might have gotten a piece of that ball on the rugby kick. Man. Not, not a great punt there. Only about 20-something yards. Yeah. Yeah, because so, the return man was back at the 30. We were right. looking for it to be back there. And it, it, we were fortunate it got as far as the 40 with a little bit of a knuckleball right. roll. Yeah. But uh, still good field position for Swainsboro. Now Dublin's defense really needs to come up with a big stop right here. No doubt. This is this is huge. If Swainsboro goes up three scores here yeah, early tough. in the second half, that's a, that's a tough hill to climb. And fake handoff. Quarterback, quarterback runs up. He'll get about three yards. Pretty well played by Dublin's defense right there. So, and we learned during halftime that this man playing quarterback is not their usual yeah. quarterback. Yeah, apparently he, but everywhere he's been on the field, and whether quarterback, I think he caught that touchdown pass for yeah. that first score, yeah. and then he's and had an interception. So wherever they put him, he is right. a playmaker. Yeah, got, and they got a lot of them. You got to have that man on the field. Second and about six. Oh, oh, he drops the, the ground. ball. He picks it up, trying yeah, to make picks something. Picks it up. Man. Oh, and got a Ooh. got a couple yards actually. Could have been disaster for Swainsboro. So, yeah, he got <laughs> all the way to the 46. The third and four for Swainsboro from there. Big play. Dublin's defense needs to get off the field right here. That's right. A bit of. Uh, a loose ball like that or a turnover or something. Yeah. You, you'd like to see something like that in the second half. It'll be huge for the Irish. Yeah. Yeah. Fans getting into it. Runs it right up the gut. He'll have his first down or be right at it. I want Drag to call the him tackler. Short. Yeah. I think that was uh, Good tough run we'll see what they spot. on the tackle, but he, he was able to oh, I don't like get far enough upfield to get the first down. Actually. Oh, that's, oh, you're not uh, even going to bring some chains out on that? I mean. Wow, that's woo. tough. Man, oh, I don't that's like that spot. Right there. All right, well, I ain't a referee, so. That's tough. They were real close. Yeah. Ball, nose of the football right at midfield. Now, that's man. another quarterback yep. off to his right. Wow, what a good run. He'll have about five yards. He might have got more than that at the end. Let's see where they spot the ball. 
They got All some. at the 43, so second about three. Some weapons. Jackson, you kind of get the sense Dublin's defense just kind of hanging on right here. They need yeah. something to happen. A big play, a lost yardage play, a, somebody knock a ball out on a fumble, something to turn this game around. Yeah, that's that's something like that's really yeah. probably going to have to happen. Off to his left side. He might, he'll get, I think he might be about a yard short right there. Hey, this game is a rivalry, so yeah, hey. A little bit of, a little bit of extra. Got a little heated there at the end of that play. A little the bit of extra. Trying to separate them. Swainboro crowd is still. Third and one. Getting to it over there. So third down and one. Defense has made short yardage stops right. tonight. Need one here. And like you say, Dolan defense hanging on, really, really needing to bend here, but don't break. Right. You know, give up some yeah. yards, you don't even give up a score. And this is a chance for you to get off the field right here on third down. Well, well they, you, they you're probably, probably in. Go for it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> a chance for a big stop on third down. Oh, and that's huge! Yeah, what snap is, way behind it. What uh, is that flag? They're going to call a penalty on Swainsboro. That's a fortunate penalty for them. Because that was going to be, yeah, they would have trouble. either turned it over or would have been about 10 yards behind the line at least. And would have had to punt. So now third and about six. Yeah. Well, they're Ball calling. It's Dublin's 44. It's third. Right? Yeah, third down. I was about to say, the PA man was calling it fourth. I was. Okay. We wish it was fourth down. Yeah, yeah. We were, <laughs> we were wishful thinking right there. Okay. You know what's coming. Yeah, you do. Keeper. Yep. Keeper for the quarterback, and he'll have his first down, I believe. He's right spying. at it. Yeah. yeah, right at it. I think he might be there. Now this time it's in favor of Dublin, nearly a yard short. Wow, fourth and one. Yeah. Fourth oh, wow. and a good, yeah, solid yard. yard. He's got to get to the 40, it looks like. Full yard yeah. to gain. Now a real They're chance for your defense for to get off yeah. the field. Need something right here, a big break. All right, chance for Dublin's defense to make a huge stop. Trouble in the secondary. Yeah, and he'll have his oh. first down, yeah. yeah Good play, will. well played by Darty, but he got his first down. He got enough. Kid's just so long, so tall, he just falls forward after he gets tackled enough to stretch out for a first down. All right, long drive here. Three minutes left now in this third quarter. Swainsboro really hogging that football right now. Using up a whole lot of clock. And they're gonna try to continue to do that. As long as they have a big lead like yeah. this, they'll, they'll run the clock as long as oh, they yeah. can. The other quarterback's in, breaks it off to his left. There well you go. played right there, Ramonte Darty. Takes him down for a loss. Great play by Darty. What a night for Darty. Yeah, he played off the block beautifully right there and took him down for a one yard loss, second and 11. The Swainsboro, Dublin needs more of those. No they, doubt. Yeah, no they, doubt. Need to, they need to put Swainsboro away behind the chains. Any negative yeah. play for Swainsboro is definitely huge. Absolutely. Need Nazir Johnson to make a play right here. Still got Tarver in that quarterback for the Swainsboro Tigers. Oh, bumped, bad, he, bad snap man. comes off to his right, and that works out okay for him. Wow, that man. Yeah, that, now check the penalty. Swainsboro's had a couple of those now with a bad snap, yeah. and they're able to get a huge yeah. gain out of it. Yeah, let's check this penalty. Is this on the iron? Did they just drop another? A holding right. call on Swain right. so that will negate a nice run by the quarterback and put them in it's second them and big. very long. It's backing them up big here. Got to contain right here if you're an Irish defensive player. Got a long way to go for Swainsboro. Second and it's a spot foul, second and 13. So. So they got, looks like Jones is going to be your quarterback again. He's so dangerous. Second and 13 from the 41, I believe it is. 
42. Comes off to his right. Darty tried to play through a block. Gets the corner. He may be gone. Check for laundry. No flag. Touchdown, Swainsboro. Great blocks right there from Swainsboro yeah. up front. And you yeah, saw that you saw block Monte on Darnie. trying to fight through it and just couldn't get there. He's not an easy man to block like no, that. No, he's not. Yeah, it's a good, just a good blocking right there from Swainsboro. Enough for a score. And now put six more on the board for Swainsboro him. goes up 27 to 7. Awaiting this PAT. Dublin blocked one earlier in the game, but of course it was. Plus, they took up just darn near the whole, the entire quarter on that yeah, drive. Yeah, as well. a long drive. Yeah, so that really puts Dublin that much more behind the stick. So, with 134 to go in the third quarter, your new score from the Shamrock Bowl Swainsboro 28, Dublin 7. of commercial and residential coverings. For sales and information, call 290-6084. Progressive Rural Telephone Co-op offers a full range of communication products and services to its members in Lawrence County and surrounding areas. We take pride in being your total communications provider, and we work hard to provide quality services at the best prices. In addition to offering phone service, we provide high-speed internet and digital high-def TV. And we always strive to put our members first. Progressive Rule, your total communications company. Small enough to know you, large enough to serve you. ProgressiveTel.com. Call 478-984-4201 or stop by 890 Simpson Avenue in Rents. Progressive Rule Telephone Co-op. Welcome back, Swainsboro put another touchdown on the board right there, so we're looking at 28-7. That ball will sell out of bounds, so that'll set up the, I mean, into the stands, into that Swainsboro marching band. So that'll set up the Irish with some good field possession right here. And you, you, Dublin, you, you still got a whole quarter here, but you, you're getting to where you got to move quick. Yeah. I'm down 21 right here. So let's see where they spot that thing after it sails out of bounds. Swainsboro, a great drive offensively there before our break. So and they penalize them, take them back to the yeah. 35 to we'll kick get off. A re -kick. Maybe Dublin can get good field position out of it. Yeah, for sure. Irish need something to happen quickly. Need a big score. Kick Swain off return, a, you know, break a run, right. long run, something. Get, get momentum back on their side. It's all on Swainsboro's side right now. And they drained so much clock last yeah, drive. They did. So. That really hurt, too. Dublin's back against the wall right, right here. Kind of a high kick. Another now, whistle. They were all side again, Swainsboro apparently. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll take two or three more of those. Let them <laughs> kick off from right there. Ten. Yeah, we'll that take that. Good. Swainsboro offsides. They will back up and try again. <laughs> from the 30 this time. So, I mean, Dublin's return man at the, <laughs> yeah. the other 30. Yeah, they're up nearly, uh, Evans is standing just, well, they're gonna back up a little bit. They're gonna back up around the 25, the, yeah, I around guess. Around 25, we'll see where that ball. So Dublin with any kind of return will be up near their own 40. Yeah, and that's just a yeah, 10, with a, just the average return. Yeah, yeah right. Good, good strong kick. Wow, good Evans leg. all the way back to his 20, comes off to his left, now cuts up field. One man's got him at the 29. Nice job. Yeah, he, he started off to his left and then cut back right, trying to create a, a crease, a hole, a seam to run through, and it wasn't there. He's taken down just inside the 30. 
So Dublin, it's not terrible field position, no, certainly, but they were hoping for better. Yeah, after those two penalties, you hope for a little bit better, yeah. but you can work yeah, you from your third. You hope to be at least at the 35 after that. All right, the Irish now with 127 to go in the third quarter, down 28 to seven. They've got to come up with some offense quickly. Yeah, you got to strike quick right here, down 21. And off to Hampton with some oh. blocking, and one man got him by the leg as he went upfield, but let's check a penalty. Late flag coming in that secondary again. One, one man just barely got him by the leg and tripped him enough to get him down. See what the flag is. We'd love Let's for check it this penalty. to go the Irish direction. Looks like Dublin's. Here's the signal. Maybe. Yes. Uh, uh, some kind of personal foul yeah. on Swainsboro. Oh yeah, fits. Well, how many? That's a big right on the midfield Irish logo right there. Their fans aren't bashful about protesting a call either. <laughs> no, not at all. They'll do it. So that puts the Irish all the way up at midfield yeah. now with 116 to go in the third quarter. Dublin trying to climb back in it, but they're down by 21 at the moment. Clock rolling now. O'Neill with the wraparound fakes it. I mean, oh, he, big hole. Good run. Yeah. Right, great run by Foster. Mari Foster, great ball fakes right there by he, Mr. Crater. He completely Neal. faked me. Yeah, out. yeah. I, I, I was watching O'Neill right yep. there the whole way. All the way down inside the 30 to the 28. Yeah. <laughs> Had our now camera down man on, with less than a minute to go in the third quarter. I said it last week on the game of the week. If you fool Kevin Gibson on the camera work, you did a heck yeah. of a fake. Inside hand off to Evans, not much there. He'll get about maybe three yards, but he got hit hard near the 25. So he paid for every inch that he got. So clock's rolling here, 30 seconds yeah, left in the third quarter. To, may, we may not get this play off before the end of the quarter. I think he can get one more in. He got two right here. I mean, you got to show urgency and at least you gotta, you gotta get a playoff right here. Dublin's gonna give it a shot. Second and eight. Here we go, pass play, so you might get throw. another one. Nice there it is, to, there it is, cut yeah. that thing up. All right, inside Down the inside 10. Inside the 10, there nice we go. throw to. Uh, I was rolling at the I end of the third quarter. I believe that's Martravis O'Neill. Nice throw, nice catch. I believe Dublin will be first and goal at about the nine. So once the chains get set, the clock will pick back up. Back up. Looks like Dublin, and they will take this into the fourth quarter. Yep. All right, that's the end of the third quarter from the Shamrock Bowl. Your score, Swainsboro 28, Dublin 7. From humble beginnings with a desire to serve the Dudley community, Bank of Dudley has grown to five locations, serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. Shop Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus and score big every time. Randolph saves you half off on diamonds. Go for the gold and save on 12 and 14 karat gold chains, bracelets, and rings. Randolph sizes and repairs too. Need a confidential loan? Just bring your gold and silver and make it happen. Selection and savings are waiting for you at Randolph's 304 Pine Forest Street in Dublin. Call 275-0427. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 to 6. And as always, good luck to our area schools from the Sanchez family. All right, we're back to start the fourth quarter. Dublin first and goal from the Swainsboro nine-yard line. And of course, it, uh, Jackson, this is four down territory. No doubt. Yeah, you no got to have doubt. touchdowns. Yeah, down to 21. Yeah. Down three touchdowns and three extra points. Yeah. You're not satisfied if you're not in that end zone right here. So? Mark don't. Travis O'Neill out wide left. Yep. Don't Doubling count it up. up quickly to the line. 
inside hand off to Foster. He'll get about two yards, maybe to the seven or so. A little bit of a push, not a whole lot. But positive yardage anyway. Last quarter of this region title game, down 21. Long way to go for the Irish. But don't count them out just yet, Mr. Crather. I think we can think we're gonna got, a little yeah, got to have a touchdown yeah, here, this no is, question about it. No, no doubt about that, huge. There we go. Oh, handed off to Hanson, coming wide left. It. And uh, <sighs> taken down at the five. Well played by the Swainsboro defense. We tried a little trickery there. Faked it, a handoff up the middle and then gave it to Hampton coming around, but he just couldn't quite get enough blocking to seal off those defenders. They got him down at about the five, so it'll be third and goal. And again, I, I don't see any choice but to go no for it here it. on fourth down if we don't, if Dublin doesn't get it right here. Already used a full minute of this fourth quarter. You got, you're now down under 11 minutes to go in the game. Everybody packing in tight timeout, Coach Holmes. And it Dublin looks now like had to burn a timeout. Because of that delay game. Yeah, they well, just weren't, fighting against yeah we weren't, just weren't set with the play and play clock running down. You see Coach Holmes was very animated yeah. and upset. Sure. But we'll take this timeout with them and be right back. I'm Brian Baysmore, President and CEO of Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County. We would like to invite you to come by and experience a welcoming banking environment. Come by today and have a cup of coffee and let us talk with you about our many products, savings accounts, checking accounts, CDs, and our many loans. You're more than just a number to us, you're family. Come by today, Community Bank of Dublin, Lawrence County, member FDIC and equal housing lender. All right, we're back. Dublin with a big third and goal from the Swains for a five yard line with 10.41 to go in the game, trailing 28-7. Hate to burn that other timeout. You're down to just one yeah. now. Yeah, down to one timeout now. O'Neill with the keeper. Actually handed that off. We came up short somewhere around, looks like around maybe the three. Or so it'll be fourth and goal, and I don't think there's any question but nope. that Dublin's going for it here. Ball's no at doubt. the two. All right, fourth and goal for the Irish from there, trying to climb back in the game. This is a huge, huge play yeah. inside in this football game. Dublin's really got to have this to have any chance to get back in the game. What do you do here? a man on late. Ball now they're going to call a timeout. They were, yeah, they were bad, confused. Their cool. coach sprinted down yeah. that sideline yeah. all the way down to the pylon to get that timeout call. We'll take it with them and be right back. When it comes to buying or selling your home or property, you'll want to deal with the number one realty company in Dublin and Lawrence County. Century 21 Dirt and Cornegay. Professionals like Brian Howell, Charlene Lapp, Adam White, David Eves, Jennifer Bradley, Jay Brantley, Jim Jarrett, Ruth Watson, Charlene Bradley, Raina Doverly, Yvonne Robertson, and Broker George Dirt all standing ready to provide prompt, professional, and prudent service. Log on to c21dublin.com, call 272-1535, or stop by 1700 Veterans Boulevard in Dublin and put the number one realty company in Dublin, Lawrence County to work for you. All right, we're back. The Irish on a huge fourth and goal from the Swainsboro two-yard line, down 28-7 in the fourth quarter. Everybody in tight. We're gonna try to Hand power off to Hampton. In. He'll be nope. snowed under well behind the line. That, that play didn't have any chance to work. Yeah, we just got whipped right there at the point of attack. And the Tigers will take over on downs. He'll actually lose all the way back nearly to the four. Play just we, yeah, we tried to lead, you know, with the backs leading him into the hole, and we just couldn't get any push whatsoever at the point of attack. Ten minutes left, Dublin with one timeout. You need something big here, a big break or something, because 
Swainsboro has shown they have the ability to yeah. run this clock. I mean, t 10 minutes is a lot of time, but I mean, they, they, I don't count them out to run a seven, eight minute drive right here and really yeah. kind of put this football game away. You need something big right here. Quarterback power, maybe one or two. The Devils got to have some turnovers now, I think, probably. Yeah, yeah, it, it's definitely trending in that direction. So he probably got two there. She went out of bounds, so that clock is dead. And they gave him about four there. I wanted to give him that many. Yeah, they give him four, so second and six. The clock's running. Well, he went out. Actually, he went okay, out. Went, went out of out. bounds, so it's stopped with 9.39 only to go in the game. No, Dublin needs the ball back as quickly as possible. They've really got to go three and out right here. Yeah, no doubt. Quarterback off to his right with some running room. Oh, well played by somebody in there. I thought he was going to have some room. But he'll get him maybe a yard to be a huge third and about four, maybe. All right, this is, this is like you say, three and out. We need him. Need him. You want him to have to punt deep right here. If they don't get this, they'll punt it. Third and three. Need them big boys up front. Darty's been having a night. They're, they haven't run it his direction, this drive, for good reason. Mm -hmm. All right, here's a big third down play. The quarterback coming off to his right. Nope, oh, no blocking there. there. No, wow, and somehow he found that hole. Wow. There wasn't any blocking there. Somehow he just found a little crease off on the right side to get about a five-yard run out of it for the first down, and, which that, yeah, that doesn't help at all. No. They, they can run off another couple of minutes at the very least. Wow, I, I re really thought the Irish had him stop there for yeah. a yard or two. Looked like we were going to have a chance to stop him and we just couldn't get it done. Fresh set of downs for the Tigers. Quarterback again off to his right, broke yep. his own ankle and Turf. went down at about the 15. Yep. Yeah, bro. Breaks yeah. his own ankles there. Turf I don't monster. mean that literally, but I mean he, he I mean, yeah. out he shook, himself. He shook himself out yeah. right there, yeah. So if he goes down at the 15, that'll be a two yard loss, so it's second and 12. But we're now down under eight minutes to go in this game, so Dublin, the clock now is really their enemy. Down 21. Looks like Jones will take the snap for the Tigers now. He's been dangerous tonight. Quarterback off to his right, makes one man miss. Wow, just fighting his way up field. We My can't goodness. tackle it. We got that all the way out to nearly 25 where he should have been taken down back around the 20. Now it will bring up third and probably at least four. And Irish. Now, we'll be down under seven minutes by the time this next play is run. The Dublin has to get off the field right here, third and four, to have any chance at all making this a game. They have not ran the football. That defense has got to be tired right now. Oh, yeah, man. They've been on that field a lot. I guess does Dublin call that timeout. Injury, oh, they got an injured man. All right. Oh, is it Dublin injured? Oh, we got an injured. Not sure who that is. Well, all right, we'll take a break while they tend to the injured Dublin player and be right back. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales will put you in the driver's seat today. Come see our great selection of quality pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Our sales professionals are ready and waiting. Come see TJ, Trey, Alec, and Britt at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales, where good deals and good people meet. Visit us at 606 East Jackson Street in Dublin. Call us at 275-2010 or log on to DublinAutoSalesGA.com. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales will put you in the driver's seat today. 
Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Amata equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amata, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amata dealer. Amata lasts and lasts and lasts. All right, we're back. Martravis O'Neill came off with a cramp, it looked like, in his right leg. The Irish will be facing a third and four for Swainsboro. Right, Dublin defense, which has got to be tired at this point, yeah. really needs to get off the field right here. To, we're now down, we'll be down under six and a half minutes left in the game when this play is run. So the clock is really working against Dublin right now. And, They've only got one timeout left. O'Neill definitely just got a cramp. Oh, yeah, we man. Tried to time, oh, we tried to time a blitz right there off the edge and just didn't jump the gun a little bit. And that'll give him an automatic first down. And on top of that, he got yeah. blown up. Yeah, he got blown up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, whoever that was. I couldn't tell who it was. But. He was just trying to time that blitz off the edge, a run blitz, to expecting that quarterback to come out on that keeper again and just didn't quite time it correctly. Good idea. Yeah, not, a bad, not a bad play. Not, you know, didn't, didn't work out. Yeah. First and 10 now for the Tigers. Fresh set of downs. And we, you know, Swainsboro got this football with 10 minutes. <coughs> yeah, left in the they have had game. the football I mean, this entire half, it seems like. And just. Oh, there's a fumble. He picks it up and runs with it off to Killing his right. Him. Wow. Killing him with that. Yeah. Carver, big run. All the way up to about midfield. So it's just, just Swainsboro's night. They played very well. And a couple of breaks have gone their way. And. They're gonna, they're, they're gonna win this game yeah. and win the region championship. Yeah, I mean, you listening. Unless something miraculous happens in the next five, yeah, four, yeah. yeah. You know, we won't ride it, you know. Uh, we won't ride them off just yet, but looking like it's going yeah, Springboro's yeah. way. And yeah, because they've now got another first down. They can run at least a couple more minutes off the clock. Listening to uh, Nelson Carswell and Coach Roger Holmes on the coaches show, Coach, Coach Holmes, Says, you know, this game doesn't define Dublin's season as Darty tries to make a play there. But this game, this game doesn't define your season. You know, obviously you want the region title, but no, you won't They'll get it. We have a home playoff game next week. That's right. Two seeds, so. so you'll get that. Yeah. Playoffs are here. I mean, potentially. Everybody's nothing, nothing. Yeah, no. Sure, that's right. Zero, zero. When Everybody's the fresh. Start. Win and move on. Right. Potentially you survive in advance. That's right. That's right. Call it. Potentially get another crack at Swainsboro. I, I, That'd be way down the road. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, yeah. I won't count out the Irish from that. But yeah. tough breaks tonight. I I really think this Dublin team can play with Swainsboro. I don't think yeah. a 21 point deficit is really yeah. a good indicator of yeah. where these, these teams plays are. In the passing game in the first half really killed Dublin. About an eight yard no run doubt. right there. Well, for the second and seven, it won't be an eight yard run, but a five yard run. But bring up third and short, third and two for Swainsboro. And that we're now down under four minutes and 50 seconds to go in the game. A couple guys come running off. Limping. Coach may, uh, Calvin limping a little bit. Maybe just resting some guys. I mean, you hate, you don't want to throw in the towel, certainly, but right. we are playing next week. and. In a playoff game, Play so you want to be as week, fresh yeah. as you can for that. Quarterback again off to his right. Pretty well played right there by the left side of Dublin's defense. I see Damari Foster getting up off that pile. A couple other guys, or several guys there with him. They'll give him a first down, though. He got enough for that. So. Now down under four minutes to go, so. Dublin's weary defense just trying yeah. to 
Trying to make one more stop and get off the field here. They've just been on the field yeah, so right. much. The entire second half. Yeah, it really feels that way. Yeah. Trying to get off of it here. Number five running the ball that time in. Not much there. Well played by the left side of Dublin's defensive front. Didn't let him get anything. I think Damari Foster was there. Really? I think Gilmore might have been there. Now we've Another got our injury timeout. 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 Yes, they're trying to get the ball spotted. I think they're making 24. Maybe he had an equipment issue. They may have made him come out. He's favoring, seems to be favoring his maybe his left leg as well. I think he dropped down for a second and they called that timeout, so I guess he has to go out. Okay. He's seeing the trainer now. So that injury yeah. stopped the clock for a second, but it's back rolling. Swainsboro impressively running a, little bit a lot of, a of low time. snap, quarterback off to his right. Good run. On a tired defense. We keep, we keep saying that, but it's true. Yeah, it Dublin's is. defense has been out there pretty much the entire second half. They've got to be extremely tired now. So he was able to stay in bounds there and eat up a whole lot more clock. That play clock's at 22 seconds. They'll use every single second of it to snap the football. Get us down to about two minutes and 10 seconds to go once this football is snapped. Third and one. First. He'll have his first down down near the 25. So they, Dublin one time out there, Swainsboro's getting into a spot where they could just run this thing out. Yeah. Yeah, that's another first down, so they can, yeah, they can pretty well run the clock out. I don't think anything to hang your head on tonight for the right. fighting Irish. You got film, you've, you've seen what you need to clean up. That secondary had a right. tough night tonight on the few pass plays that Swainsboro had. You clean that up before playoffs and you come back and you'll have a game in the Shamrock Bowl next Friday night. Yeah, we a lot to work on this week. And off to number five. Oh, a big stick by somebody. He got. He did get about five yards, but somebody really on. hit him. I think it may have been Darty or, or Des Gilbert. Des Gilbert really delivered a blow. He's he's trying to shake it off himself. Yeah. Now down under a minute twenty. Obviously, Swainsboro in no hurry to run this next no, play. No, definitely not. Really would just take two more snaps from him. Assuming Coach Holmes doesn't want to burn that last time out, which probably doesn't. He may, but it would not be. Yeah, it, it, it wouldn't stop Swainsburg. It would momentarily, I guess. Well, the handoff cuts it right up the middle. Gets down near the 10. That'll be a first down. A little extra. Got a little heated there. Yeah. End of that play. You know, guys are giving it all they got in the night, and it's tough to take this loss in a region championship game. Got a couple of Dublin players coming over. Might have some second team guys in there right now. Yeah. Darty and Des Gilbert, both of them have played really hard tonight. Coming this, off. This will be the last yeah. snap of the ball game. Yeah, we're down down under 35 seconds. If they don't get it in. Other handoff. What's that And one? goes down inside the 10, down to about the seven. That'll probably be the last yeah, snap of the it. game. Well. So congratulations to the Swainsboro Tigers. They'll be your 2022 region champions, region 3A. 
the Irish will be the second seed, and they will be home for a playoff game next week. So. Come on out. Yeah. Shamrock Bowls.